Top story this morning, suspect with the history of gun crimes in Providence expected to answer to multiple charges this morning after causing a standoff in the heart of Federal Hill Tuesday afternoon. Yeah, 12 News was on the scene as residents were evacuated and police arrested 35 year old Timothy Desjardins. We want to check in with Kate Wall. She's live outside of District Court in Providence with more on exactly what happened. Well, Timothy Desjardins is expected to be arraigned here at Providence District Court sometime this morning to answer to these new charges, but then it's expected that he'll also be arraigned in Superior Court due to his condition of being a bail violator for a near deadly incident involving guns in September. I opened the door and there's a bunch of cops running by with guns and I was like with their guns drawn and I was like what is happening? A tense two hours on vibrant Federal Hill as nearly two dozen residents were evacuated from their homes on Atwell's <laughs> Avenue. Providence police working to safely get a suspect into custody. Providence Police Chief Colonel Hugh Clements said just before 2 30 Thursday afternoon officers on patrol spotted 35 year old Timothy Dejardin who was out on bail from a shooting in the same neighborhood two months prior with a firearm on him. As someone with a rap sheet and out on bail, Desjardin can't have a gun. Even if the firearm were concealed, the officers through their training, through their experience, they know when someone is carrying a firearm. At that point, Clement said Desjardin barricaded himself inside his barber shop. They evacuated apartments above and in the surrounding area and closed down the road. I was scared at first. Then I was like, it seemed like they kind of had the situation under control. Then about two hours later, Desjardins surrendered peacefully. Clement said this incident of illegal gun possession is all too common in the city. We seized at this point well over uh, 1,100 casings in the city, and the Providence police have not fired one uh, bullet. 12 News reported back in September that police arrested Desjardins for allegedly shooting a man in the head over a road rage incident on Atwell's Avenue, not far from this scene. The victim survived. Desjardins was initially held without bail, but had since been released. Federal Hill Commerce Association President Rick Simone says owners are confident in the police department's ability to keep their patrons safe. And our big message is to thank them and to let everybody know Federal Hill is safe and they've taken someone off the street that has been a problem in the past. And And Chief Hugh Clemens said that there are several police investigations, active firearms investigations involving Desjardins going on right now as well. We'll continue to follow the story for you throughout the day. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News. First this morning, Federal Hill quiet again, thankfully after a tense situation Thursday afternoon causing residents to evacuate and Atwell's Avenue to be closed for a time. Yeah, 12 News was on the scene while police were negotiating with a man known to them. He barricaded himself in his barber shop for about two hours. 35 year old Timothy Desjardins eventually surrendered peacefully. Kate Walsh is joining us live outside of District Court in Providence where he will be arraigned later this morning. Yeah, Providence Police Chief Colonel Hugh Clement said that Timothy Desjardins is the subject of several police active firearms investigations right now. He was out on bail, accused of shooting a man in the head on Atwell's Avenue a couple of months ago. And because he was out on bail, the reason why he had a gun is beyond police. That's why when they saw him with one on him, they pursued him. And then at that point, police say Desjardins barricaded himself into his barber shop on Atwell's Avenue, where he stayed for about two hours. Now, as we know, Federal Hill is bustling with people, so police had to shut down the road and evacuate residents of nearby apartments, both above the barber shop and next door. Then negotiators got Desjardins to surrender peacefully about two hours later. Colonel Clements explained how this gun incident is all too common in the city and across the country right now. We seized at this point well over uh, 1,100 casings in the city, and the Providence police have not fired one uh, bullet. Now, Desjardins will be arraigned here at Providence District Court on these new charges related to the standoff yesterday, but it is expected that he'll also be arraigned in Superior Court as he is a bail violator and has a criminal history. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.